Because a new world order, the business of the day for the elite when you're coming to take your freedoms away. Hello again, human beings from the planet Earth. Well, I thought before I partake of the uh, marijuana cigarette that I have rolled or go to work, I'd get into a little bit of a marijuana rant because I'm about sick of all the sheep clapping that the new governor is back the mar medical marijuana bill in New Hampshire and that we're going to get medical marijuana in. First of all, I got to throw some facts at you, and I could give you a fucking six-hour documentary, but I really don't have time. I got about an hour before I go to work, so, and you need to hear this and start thinking and sharing this uh, for me with the people in New Hampshire, everywhere, because it applies everywhere. Uh, medical marijuana bill. You can see I started spieling off about it on Facebook um, because the bill limits use to chronic illness. So a guy like me, hyperactive, and uh, use it for aches and pains, I'm still a criminal. Um, let me remind you of something. We were supposed to be one nation under God. And, I, and this just ends all the fucking discussion right there. It, it ends everything as far as I'm concerned. One nation under God. In God's written word, the Bible, whether you believe the book to be true is irrelevant. The first book of the Bible, the very first chapters say that God gave man every seed-bearing plant. End of fucking discussion. I don't care what your written law is. If your written law negates my uh, natural law, uh, then I ignore it. I don't care what you write down on paper. It doesn't change who I am. It doesn't change my existence in the universe or the things that I can and cannot do. No, it does not, and it will not, and it shall not. Okay? And for all of you that get scared about the federal government now, I tried to find it quickly. I do have the House bill here. I'm going to link you to this so you can read it. I'm not reading it all. It's just more law, folks. You can do it this way. You can't do it that way. All the debate, the extra work on the officers to confirm uh, identities and all this shit. Now, what I saw in... Um, California when I was out there is you know they've had medical marijuana for a while so they put the pot in the hands of a few select and now those people have a monopoly or access to it so they either fight against full legalization or they don't fucking vote at all because they don't care they can get their pot they have their card and they have their system so they don't give a shit no I, I okay this is absolute bullshit few other facts they keep pumping prescription drugs down everybody's throat. Prescription drugs responsible for more death than traffic accidents, study finds. And for you fucking idiots that want to think, well, most of those people were stoned. No, no, they weren't, actually. No, unless they got hit by the unstoned driver. Uh, weed smokers are slower and safer drivers. This is a study that was released last April. And it's absolutely true, and I can attest to that, because I've been smoking and driving since I was 16. I'm a great driver. Don't have any accidents that are my fault, with the exception of a few quirks that are beyond my control. Of course, they were my fault because it was my vehicle, breakdown, whatever. But, uh, you know, it doesn't, come on, cut the bullshit. New Hampshire's motto is live free or die. And, again, in this bill, it does state that uh, the states are not responsible to uphold federal law. It, they, they don't have any need to uphold federal law. And I, and I forget where it is in there. I did see it. I'll link you to that so you can see it. What we need to do is full legalization across the board. And I do think it should be limited to the children. It's an adult thing. Um, and not that children shouldn't ha have access to it through the parent, because we have seen children be healed. A uh, two-year-old in Australia, I believe it was just recently, would have died from cancer if his father did not uh, use the chemical compounds in marijuana to heal his child. His child would be dead um, through the pharmaceutical industry or through no help at all because they can't do anything. They sent the kid home to die, and the father knew better um, in that manner. Yes, uh, it has uses in children. Children should not have access to it, though. Um, just as alcohol. And that's another point I want to bring up for you fucking New Hampshire sheep, okay? Uh, you, you have 
until this point not even really started to try to consider to legalize marijuana. You've made me a criminal for over 26 years and many others like me who, who work their ass off to really try to wake you up and try to do the right thing. And you sell hard liquor and lottery on both sides of the only two highways that come in and out of the state from Massachusetts, 93 and 95, both of those on the north and southbound lanes. And they are labeled safety rest stops. Two of the most addictive and destructive things we have in this country are hard liquor and gambling. And you endorse them both on the side of the road. You can expect me to fight like hell in this state for full legalization. There is a rally coming up. I think it's sometime in June. I'm sorry, folks, I don't have the link available right now. I will research that. I will be there. Um, and, and I'm going to link you to, uh, if you're a New Hampshire resident, uh, and please, all my videos are remixable, so re-upload this if you know that you have some New Hampshire residents. I'm going to link you to the um, New Hampshire uh support page for the 420 Occupy movement and you can link to any other state uh, from that page and I'm also going to link you to Maggie Hassan because what I like to do see she's liked I don't know whether I like her or not I haven't seen her in action yet in uh, passing a medical marijuana bill that's limited to only people that are about to die anyway means nothing to me I think you've put more of a burden on the police officer and I still think you ostracize me and so uh, I don't know if I like or not but I've liked the page because then I can tag the page with this information and you can see that I've, I've told her clearly that unless she legalizes pot across the board the motto of live free or die is a complete fallacy and a blatant lie and it is you cannot take away a God-given right from somebody and then say that they're free that that's absolute bullshit okay absolute bullshit and the governor ought to start thinking about the financial aspect of this because I know the amount of people, what, probably three-quarters of the population here in New Hampshire either smoke or condone the smoking of marijuana. That's a lot of money in revenue if this was taxed and regulated similar to alcohol. That's a lot of money. Could really put the, and it'll open up new businesses in the state. You're going to see more smoking parlors opening up, um, and that's fine. I like that idea. That's great. You know, especially for people that don't have, uh, that have kids and they don't want it in their home and don't want to just be hanging out in public smoking pot, a place for them to gather. I mean, you do it every fucking weekend when you suck down your whiskey and you get drunk and you throw your clothes all over the place and you puke and you get arrested and you crash your cars. And yeah, you know, except you won't see any of that stuff at a hookah bar or et cetera. So anyway. That's enough of my morning rant, but um, if you're in New Hampshire especially, please share this video and share it anyway. People need to wake the fuck up. The laws uh, are the same for you whether you're in the United States, what state you're in, what country you're in. God gave to man every seed-bearing plant. End of my rant. Much love, many thanks, and I'll see you soon. You've got to put your bodies upon the gears and upon the wheels, upon the levers.